Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Um, just wanted to update you on how everything's going with the truck. So far, so good. I did get my V-band clamp came in, so I need to get that put on today. And then also, my hardware. Got a package today from ARP. Got some of my new fasteners in for my exhaust mail fold that I want to do. Um, these are for uh, turbo to flange. Uh, the, just a 12 bolt, or I'm or sorry, not 12 bolt, a 12 point uh, M10 by one and a half by 30. Um, I do need to pick up some nuts for those. I did forget to order those, so I'm gonna have to pick up the nuts to be able to use those. And then for the manifold flint or manifold itself, I'm going to be using their stainless steel studs with 12 point nut. And these are a also an M10 by one and a by 1.25 by 1.5. And what that is, it's one and a half going into the engine block, and then the nut is a 1.25. So um, this this is what I'm going to be using right over here to hold. The flange in place, I'm gonna get rid of the spacers. Uh, I think they're ugly. You you know, since I'm gonna be using studs, I don't really need to use them. Um, you know, like I told you, like I told you once before, um, Cummins went to those because they were having some problems with some things and some fasteners loosening up. So uh, I got four packages of those, or I'm sorry, three packages of those. There's four to a pack and there's 12. Uh, I need 12 for the manifold, so there's that. I got extra 12 points just to have them extra in case I would want to use them for something else. Um, gonna go back to them also and order my hardware for the timing cover. I want to get that off. I want to get that powder coated to batch this. Um, that is going to be a while before I can get that off and get that powder coated. I do have a friend of mine. I may see if I can get some pieces and parts off of him, some stuff that I want to have powder coated because uh, once that's done, I can just swap out and give him my old parts when I change everything out. So, um, but to do that, that's a little bit bigger job. You got to pull a lot of stuff off. You know, you should pull your radiator out um, and an air cooler and get that stuff out of the way. And then you can just go right through here to be able to change those parts out and then while I have that off and also your harmonic balancer has to come off too so and then while I would have that off and all that stuff out of the way I would go ahead and install the barring tool at that point in time mower um, yeah things don't always go my way either um, it's not all lollipops and candy canes here all the time this head is a left side head didn't even pay attention to that as or not that head I'm sorry this head right here that's the good head so I got an extra left side head that I'm gonna put on the shelf not even thinking didn't even look at the exhaust and the intake ports <clears throat> I went to put it on and I'm noticing that my centering pins are not lining up and then I looked at the head and the exhaust port was on top when it's supposed to be on the bottom um, so yeah, that's a left side head. So, uh, my, yeah, just messed up. Uh, it's not a big deal. So uh, I can't find another used head. So I'm going to go ahead and buy one. I've just been trying to find a used one because they are pretty costly just for the head itself with valves, no rocker assembly is, um, right around $200. So I got to get one of those ordered and get those coming because we're going to need that mower, uh, here coming shortly. Also today, I'm going to be throwing on my sway bar end link bushings and I think we can go out here and get the uh, transmission cross member, put it in place, um, get it put back on the truck. It's down inside there, the bed of the truck. And that would pretty much button up everything as far as the work that I've done thus far being the transmission and everything else the powder coat everything's pretty much buttoned up and done um i'm seeing some other stuff that i want to do but right now i just can't tear it apart that far to do those things and um uh yeah it's kind of killing me but anyway so i want to get uh and then also i got to get everything cleaned up i have not got everything decreased as far as under here from having this cover off valve cover 
I've got some stuff in the works right now with a gentleman. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but uh, possibly going to be doing a field trip here on Friday. Uh, I'm going to take my camera with me and going to be possibly doing something with the valve cover. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, no more about that on Friday, but uh, yeah, I, it's going to be really cool actually. So um, right now, I guess I'll get started and get that exhaust manifold. I do have everything loose underneath the truck, so I can just move the uh, downpipe out of the way. I don't know, I'm pretty sure the new one will fit. Um, I did not have, I had my new one, my old one wired on the truck uh, when I went and picked this one up. So I'm hoping that it's the same size. It looked like it was, but like I said, that one was wired on the truck and I was driving the truck when I picked this up. So right now we'll get that old, old one off and uh, try and see if it matches up and put the new one on. Nope, this one is the wrong size. It says four and three quarter. I questioned it when I picked it up, but on their computer, it says four inch. Um, I'd like to know how they measure four inch, but I'm gonna have to call and, uh, or take it back. But yeah, this is way not the right size. So anyway, back to uh, trying to find a new one. Oh, too big. Like I said, that says four and three quarter. Anyway, too big. I'll have to put this one back on and wire it up like I had it and uh, go from there. All right, with that clamp being too short, I did go ahead and wire that back up. All I did was take and double up my clamp tight wire, the stainless steel wire that I received from clamp tight. And, um, Twisted it with a pair of uh, uh, vice grips to make everything tight. There's really not a way I could get my clamp tight tool in there to uh, to use it. So I just used vice grips and uh, twisted it and got it tight. I did get my uh, transfer case topped off. This is what I use in my transfer case. It's the Amsoil ATF synthetic automatic transmission fluid. And... To do that, you have a, a plug top and bottom. As most of you know, it is a 10 millimeter Allen head um, to get that out of there. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started on my soy bar end link bushings. I do have this side off. I'm gonna to throw to the other side and take that nut off. A lot of times when you do that, you can take and pull your sway bar up and out of the way and change them bushings out, but sometimes you do have to go down and take your sway bar and links completely off to be able to change these top bushings. But I'm hoping that I've got enough play that I, or I'm able to just twist it up and out of the way. So we'll go over here and take this side off. Bushings are pretty hard. They're pretty much shot. Now I'm hoping that I can take this. Oh, nope, there's too much pressure on that rubber right there. So I'm just gonna have to grab uh, some heart or some wrenches and stuff and take that off right there. All right, so this is one of the Carly sway bar end links. I did have to, like I said, take it out completely. You can see it has a heim joint on that end and then it just utilizes the factory um, hardware on this end here. I do need to get that off of there. You can see this is in pretty bad shape really. Um, I should have replaced those a long time ago, but um, doing things slowly as I get time. You can see as that rolls away, this rubber and this hardware is just brittle and hard. Um, this has, like I said, this heim joint on this end. I am gonna clean things up. Put some uh, 
um, some penetrating oil on the Himes on that end. They are adjustable. You can twist those in and out and change the length of these if you so choose. Uh, I'm going to clean that end up too. Put some anti-seize on this bolt. It was locked inside that Heim joint just a little bit. So I'll, I'll clean that up, wire brush that off, um, put some anti-seize on there, and put everything back together on that side all right there you can see i put just the bolt back inside and got that heim joint loose um then just opened up my vise and never so slightly put pressure on it now i'll take some of my crown penetrating oil and spray on there and get things all worked back up into shape with that yeah that's pretty good with that and then I'll take this back apart and I'm gonna put some anti-seize on the bolt itself. And then I'll put all that stuff back together. Put anti-seize all over the bolt. Put these uh, misalignment spacers on there, uh, the washers. And then the parts kit that I got, these are the parts numbers for my hardware kit for the uh, sway bar end links. And the kit comes with everything you need along with the nut if you so choose i'm going to reuse my nut that i have but you just have your top and your bottom and should come with washers too all right you'll have your bottom your top and your two washers i don't need this hardware because Carly, Carly utilizes their own stem on top so now i'll just get all this stuff put back together and get put back in the truck. Okay, I got both sides back together. That's pretty much gonna do it, I believe, for tonight. As you can see, it is almost dark out. And we got both sides done. Fastened up. So, like I said, guys, if you don't mind, hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Check out ARP. Um, yeah, put a link down in the description below for their website and also I'll put a link in for the uh, the studs that I picked up to do my um, manifold that way you guys can check those out and pick those up for yourself if you want to and I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up I don't know if you can see it from here but that red just glows underneath the hood I don't think you can but right about there you can see it I can see it from back where I was. So, hey, if you don't mind, subscribe if you have not already done so. And like I said, hit that like, give me a thumbs up. Check the links out below in the description. And um, we will see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.